Hello everyone and welcome to an exciting review from your friends over at MacApper.com. I'm Matt Weber and today we're going to be focusing specifically on the Jing Project. The Jing Project is a capture, record, and share application for both your Mac and your Windows machines. Um, we're going to be focusing specifically on the Macintosh side of things. Um, as I said before, this is coming from the guys over at TechSmith.com. They are known for both Snagit and Camtasia uh, screen capture and screen recording softwares, um, both of which are really industry standard for recording things on your desktop and putting them online and showing your friends and that sort of thing. So let's get into this. We're going to head over to the Mac app or website, and we're going to move up here to the upper right-hand corner where the Jing project uh, program actually lives. Uh, it is the sun, that's what it's called, and it has three rays. It has your capture, which is the first, the second is your history, and the third is your more, which includes your preferences and uh, contact information for the guys over at Jing and just about the application. So we're going to go into the capture area. It brings up a uh, targeting reg reticle, so you can select exactly what you want to capture. We're going to choose this top banner here of the Mac Apper website. And right there. We're going to say an image. And it brings up the Jing editor with your selection inside. Um, Jing editor has four main tools. The first of which is your arrow. Second is your text. Third is your outline. And the fourth is your highlight. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show someone how they can go to the forums on the Mac Avro website. Uh, we're going to select the box tool, just put a little box around the forums button here, and then put a little arrow like that. We're going to say some text and say click here. Click outside, move this up here, and we're going to call this Mac Apper forums. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Matt, this looks a lot like all of the other screen capture and record softwares that are out there. Um, what makes it different? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not impressed. Well, the thing that makes it different is the share button right here. The share button will automatically upload it to screencast.com, your image, and it'll copy the URL of that image to your clipboard. So we're going to do that right now. Right hit share. It's going to upload it here to screencast.com and it says it copied the URL to your clipboard. So all we have to do is go up here in the address bar, do a paste, hit enter, and voila, we have our picture online for other people to see. As you can see, it is sort of a hidden URL, so you're going to need to remember that. Um, that is where the history also comes in handy on the Jing project. As you can see, it has all of my other um, previously recorded or captured images um, and videos as well, um, which is really nice if you remember captured something before, you lost the URL, just go back in here, click on it, and you're good to go. This also does video, as I said before, so we're going to go over to the Apple website, and we have this um, sliding dealio with all the Mac products. So we're going to put the Jing project to the test with this area. Select it, like so. We're going to hit video, we're going to mute the microphone, and we're going to go. So we're just going to slide this around a little bit. Slide it, slide it, slide it, and we're going to hit stop. It's going to come up here in the window. We're going to hit play, and the mic is playing. And slide it. Look at that video. That is just flawless stuff. And like the picture area of this application, it also has a share. So we're going to hit share, and... It's uploading. It's a 4 meg file, so we're going to let that do its uploading thing. Alright, so it's uploaded, and we're just going to go up here into the address bar of Firefox, do a paste, hit enter, play, 
and we have our video online. Simple, easy to do. Well, there was three steps to that. I mean, very easy to do. I would definitely recommend this product for anyone out there who's in the uh, computer support industry or if you're the, uh, the tech guy in your neighborhood like I am. People will come to you for help with computer stuff. Um, really easy to show people how to do stuff. So if you're in the market for a capture, record, and share application, this would be the one to check out. It's free. So just go over to jingproject.com, download it, and you're good to go. This is Matt Wimmer with MacApper.com. Hope you enjoyed.